Welcome to Art with Janine Liza. In this video, I will be exploring a laser engraver. There are no product promotions in this video. This is just me in the studio, having fun, learning new things. Around the holidays, I wanted to treat myself to something new in creativity, like to uh, basically explore something new, learn something new. And I decided to invest in a laser engraver. It's an Elegoo and I really didn't know too much about it but I was very excited at the possibility of engraving some pretty things in wood and especially with um, family events coming up I thought I could decorate a few things for family events and it's a nice way to make gifts as well. So what I didn't realize was that it would present some challenges and one of the biggest hurdle is is the learning curve of the software and just sort of understanding the um, <clears throat> the starting point for the machine. And so I'm going to slowly sort of go through the learning process and share some of it. This is the arm of the machine that moves. Um, around and in here is where the laser um, comes out of this little box in here this is a magnetic shield that is like an orange glass to protect you from the laser light and that you can take that off to adjust to the uh, laser in there and there's also glasses that come with it um, that I have kept safe over here special laser glasses so that you don't damage your eyes when using it and I mean you're not going to be staring at it a lot anyways once you get it started you just can take a quick peek and then let it do its thing and check on it anyway so I'm going to come away from the machine for a minute and take a look at the program that you need to download when you get the Elegoo there are a few different apps there is the app that comes with it and there's a USB key here and a little tiny card that can go into the machine and you can put a couple of designs files on that card and directly put them into the machine and then there's another option which is to plug your computer in directly to the machine and basically uh, design save the file send it straight to the machine and get it to cut it out so this is all learning curves and uh it's something new and exciting and it's worth the time for me to take to learn it and understand it and master it. So that's why I decided to do this first machine that was not one of the higher end, more expensive ones um, by Elegoo. It was the, the lower cost one, um, which just I thought this was a perfect one for learning. So I decided to get this one. This is the 10 watt machine. So you can get a 10 watt, a 20 watt. The machine comes with um, air assist. So it filters the any smoke um, through this box here and sort of filters it out so you don't get uh, fumes and stuff. It is best to run a machine like this if you're doing a really big job. For a little tiny job, light burning, it's fine. But for a bigger job, you will need to have ventilation. So like a window and say a fan blowing out would be handy. You can also get full covers from the machine that have a ventilation system. And that's something I'm gonna be looking into and saving up for. Um, I won't be really using the machine for any heavy projects until I have fully learned it. And so this is all just a learning curve right now. And uh, once I get to the stage where I'm going to cut something large out that might make a little bit more smoke, I will have the full cover for the machine. Right now, this machine is just here as inspiration, encouraging me and inspiring me to learn and master it so I can create some beautiful things. Now let's take a look at the program that I'm currently learning to use this machine. So a program I was advised to get is Lightburn, and that's what I'm using here. Here's the grid. It's a little similar to the Cricut Design Space, but it has different features, obviously, for laser. Down here is a row of colored squares. 
these indicate layers in your work. So if I click zero one in the blue, and then I come up here and select a square and make a square by clicking and dragging, this is blue. And you can see here, it's starting a list. This is where my blue layer is. So each layer communicates something different to the machine about what you want to happen when that part of your project is burned. So here we have the power and the speed. And down in the corner here, once you click on your layer, you can adjust things down here. It says it's going to make three passes. That means it's going to go over it three times to create the strength of uh, burn that you want. Uh, the speed is here and the power you can adjust. So there's basically little arrows there. You can adjust the speed and the power for which the laser engraver moves and uses. If it is on a specific speed and power, it might be what's best for that shape or line. I'm not certain yet. This is all something I'm learning. So I'm just making changes here just to show you how you can change it, but I may put those back later. In this video, maybe we'll just take a quick look at layers and then we'll do something else in a future video. So I'm just going to click and drag a circle here. I've selected circle and you'll see it's also in the blue because I'm still in the blue layer. Um, you'll notice I just made another circle. That's because I clicked and unclicked and clicked again. And that will happen. You'll just keep producing circles, but you can go up to the top and you can unclick and undo any amount of times. So you can get another chance to try that again. So here I'm going to make the circle again. I got my second chance and it is a broken line because it's selected. And you'll see that the blue square is solid because it is not selected. So now I can change this and give it a different colored layer and I've given it the color layer two. From what I understand so far, the number is not as important as the color, at least I think. So if I had selected number five, but it was just a different color, it would still be the second layer. So I'm going to show you now that you can move these layers and change the order of operation. So if I select this one here, the first one in blue, and I move the arrow bar up, it becomes the first thing to be burned. So this is why the layers are really handy as well. You can decide what part to burn first. And uh, you can also change the color of any layer. So I've just changed the red while it's still selected to a green. Okay, so now I'm going to change this second layer back to red. Because it has the two on it and I'm going to pick another shape. Let's see if we can make a third layer. Well, we can make a third layer. <laughs> Let's put this in here and drag. There we go. And again, it is red because I'm still working on that layer. So now I'm going to select the green and I have a third layer. Any one of these can be individually adjusted for power and speed, but there's also this section here where it says line, choose whether shapes or this layer are traced along the lines, filled or both. So this one here is fill. And again, I'm just learning this, so this is all new to me. Offset fill and line. So for now, in my beginner stages, I'm just sticking with the line. And again, I'm going to learn some more as I go. And I can adjust which of these is burned first. So while this is selected, I could move it up to second place or first place. So in this program, I can create separate layers for each part of the project, select how each separate layer will be burned and in what order each layer will be burned. As mentioned earlier in the week, I had said that I would share some crazy creativity with you and part of it is learning new things. And this here is a new thing that I am 
Really excited to learn and share the journey with you. I hope you found something interesting in this video, especially if you're just starting out with a laser engraver. And I will look into making more videos on that in the future. Thank you for visiting Art with Janine Liza. If you found something you like on this channel, please feel free to click subscribe.